Over the last century, Lake Simcoe has undergone some dramatic environmental changes, and one of the most obvious has been the increase in the number of aquatic plants, especially here in Cooks Bay on Lake Simcoe. Cooks Bay is the outflow of the Holland River, and a lot of nutrients flow in from the Holland Marsh and also from Newmarket and Aurora upstream. You can think of this as a funneling effect, and all these nutrients wash together and enter Lake Simcoe here in Cooks Bay. Most people think of aquatic plants as a nuisance because they either entangle boat propellers or they come into swimming areas or they obstruct their view from the shoreline. Plants in the water of Lake Simcoe are something that many of our donors around the lake are concerned about and we're pleased to partner on their behalf in this project so that we can learn more about how all of it is changing with time. It's only when nutrients increase that these plants become this kind of problem. They're naturally found in all lakes and they are important habitat for fish as both feeding ground and also nursery areas. This study of aquatic plants will enable us to find out what species are present, where they are found, and under what environmental conditions they grow. We will also be watching for increases in the numbers of invasive species. The Conservation Authority has been the agency that has responded on a regular basis to the issues uh, concerning my community and its relationship to Lake Simcoe. And we have a very good relationship with the Conservation Authority and wish to continue to foster that relationship. We collect these samples with a large rake. When we bring the plants to the surface, we find out what species are present and how many of each we have. Using these techniques, we can compare different areas of the lake. So for example, we can compare Cooks Bay to Kempenfelt Bay and also Sutton to Oromodonte. The main problem with invasive plant species is that they displace our native species and they have no known natural controls, so their populations expand very quickly. The most widespread exotic plant species in Lake Simcoe is the Eurasian milfoil, which was first reported in the early 1980s. Over time, we will be able to determine how the species populations are changing, if they're changing locations, and also if their populations are increasing.